be the first to fly out of uh, Synergy South here. So he started this RV-14 at home, kind of worried about fitting of the canopy. Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I'm Brian, and today I'm in Noonan, Georgia, at a company called Synergy Air. You may have heard this term before of uh, Builder Assist or Builder Assist Program. But today I want to show you what that's about. Coming up next. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. I'm here with Alan at Synergy Air, uh, their east location, which just started up about a year ago. And Synergy Air primarily does builder assist programs for RV, uh, Vans Aircraft, and Sling, Safari, um, Build Assist. Well, we're very familiar with the RVs, very efficient, so we're, that's kind of where we shine. But um, we're also in talks to do safari helicopters and uh, I've got a sling starting probably next month. Okay. And this location has been in operation for just over a year? Almost a year today, yes. And we are currently standing in, in Noonan, Georgia, which is just about 30 minutes south of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So, it usually starts with the fundamentals class. If somebody wants to learn how to build an airplane, uh, you just don't go out to the garage and start hammering rivets. Uh, we'll, we offer on Saturdays a fundamentals class. It's one day. Uh, basically, you just try to get your hands on all the tools and the techniques okay. um, so that you're more uh, able to go and start building your airplane. From there, some builders uh, will stay on and hopefully roll right over into building a tail kit. Um, the tail feathers, the vertical um, and horizontal stabilators. Uh, and usually by that time, they're pretty fond of our efficiency and speed, uh, definitely with our quality. And most all of our planes are show winning planes. Um, they'll decide then either to go home and finish or, or to stay on and just complete the build with us. So just after that initial tail kit and introduction, mm -hmm. give them some of the primary skills or at least the experience, a little bit of confidence yes. to go back home. Yes. Now the, the longer term projects will I assume these are some of the longer term The 10 projects. is the longest, yes. Okay. So what's, what's kind of the, the build schedule for that and how does that It depends along? on the schedule that the builder can um, stick to. Uh, we've got uh, one of them, uh, he's booked out all the way through the year, one week a month. Um, on a 10, we estimate about 26 weeks, so spread that over 26 months, so that's about a two year project. Okay. Um, if you can double it up, some guys can do two weeks on, two weeks off. We get it done in half the time, as long as the schedule allows. Um, well, obviously, that's a, a lot of time. Two things: taking up your floor space, but at the same time, a customer. So, how do you prevent prevent that from being a ten-year project and then just taking up your hangar space? Or so I, our space is valuable here. So there's a monthly rent that kind of reminds them okay. that their planes here. Okay. Uh, we try to I try to stay on top of everybody and keep them on the schedule, keep the project moving. So I mean, along with build assist, I'm also coordinating and managing the project too. Uh, so this is the RB14 that's going to be the first to fly out of uh, Synergy South here. It was started in Oregon and he's a local guy so as soon as we opened up he shipped it down. Pretty much all we have to do is finish up some fiberglass, plug wings in and start doing our test runs and stuff. Okay. So he's very excited. Uh, next month I think we're going to be done with it. So it should be ready to fly, first ready flight? To fly. The, the painter that we're using is over in Alabama. Um, he likes to fly off the 40 hours first, um, so he can see what's rubbing and chafing. He's very particular, which is good in a painter. So he started this RV-14 at home. Um, very first section, it talks about reaming the spar. Uh, he wasn't quite sure on how to ream it, and actually elongated a lot of holes, and, and right away decided that he wanted a little bit of help. Sure. Um, so he brought it down here, um, we, we built up as much as we could in a week, uh, which was a really good pace. He's really impressed. He said, just go ahead and finish it up to quick build status, which is what we've done here. Um, and then he's going to come in. He's, he's kind of worried about fitting of the canopy. Um, so we're going to go through and we're going to do that on his next trip, which is, I think, in two weeks. Um, we'll go through that. And then he might decide to take it home and try to work on it a little more. Tell me a little about this. This component, this sub-assembly here on 
This is the overhead um, option that you can get from show planes. Okay. Um, or it's Aerosport. But uh, it allows you to duct air um, from the back and from the front so the you and the, the passengers can get um, some cooling air, ideally. We're gonna install a boosted fan in the back so he can turn it on and even when you're not moving, you can get air flowing. Right. We're also gonna install cabin lights and map lights in this overhead. Hi, I'm Scott Calkins, and I've been involved with Synergy for about six months now. And this is my first time build uh, of any type of project like this. And it's been a very rewarding experience. I worked for about six months on my own at home in my garage, and I was making slow progress, but there's just a lot of head scratching, and sometimes you're not exactly sure whether to do it this way or that way. And with this environment, you're pretty much supervised and uh, you do a lot you do you do a lot of the work yourself but you have someone that's experienced working alongside you so you can reference the plans they're very good plans by the way you reference the plans for call outs on what particular piece or part number is used and then you spend more time actually physically working on the project versus thinking and getting on the internet and heaven forbid reading all the forums right <laughs> but uh, but anyway it's been a great experience uh, we're making great progress um, and I've been very happy with the whole experience so far all right Alan well thanks very much for taking a few minutes of your, your day and showing me around your shop and explaining what you do um, if other people are interested in, in, in working with you where can they go to find out more information on your website or the website is the simplest. It's got the contact information for the Eugene shop and the, the shop down south here. Okay. Um, and that is SynergyAir? SynergyAir.com. SynergyAir.com. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Well, again, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm glad you came down. All right. All right, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that tour through Synergy Air and their facility, seeing how much room they've got there to assist with uh, builders and the builder assist program they have there. Some tools here available to you through Wix Aircraft Supply. Uh, again, the 3X rivet gun. They've got a kit called the, the Red Box that has a 3X gun with many different uh, attachments for it and so forth. As well as another tool they have called Lloyd's Rivet Drill Guide, which helps you drill out solid rivets. Be perfect to use on obviously the Vans aircraft uh, with a lot of solid rivets involved. So go to Wix Aircraft Supply for tools like that and many more to help you work on metal aircraft and so forth. There's a few events coming up that I wanted to remind everybody about, if, uh, also if you weren't aware. Uh, Triple Tree Aerodrome in Woodruff, South Carolina is having their annual fly-in at the Triple Tree. They have like a 7,000 foot grass runway and the grounds there is just an amazing, amazing place. If you haven't been there, I invite you to check it out. I'm going to try to go there myself towards the end of the week, depending on if this weather affects um, the fly-in because of the, the hurricane that's along the coast of Florida right now. Uh, but that is September 2nd through the 8th if you want to check that out. Next up would be the Tullahoma, Tennessee event by AOPA. That is happening September 13th and 14th. I will be there uh, attending that show and if, if you remember just recently I interviewed John Humbert in his Super 701. I spoke with him and he is trying to make plans to attend that show as well they are having this what they're calling a stole invitational so there should be some aircraft obviously capable of stole that's in Tullahoma Tennessee and finally in November uh, 14th through the 16th in Florida Deland Florida is the Deland Sport Aviation Showcase and I will be there as well I invite you all to I invite you all to come out and check out these different events get involved in aviation uh, and check out some of the different aircraft that are available for you to build if you guys haven't already subscribed, I invite you right now to go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button on this video and the little bell notification for future videos. I appreciate everybody who has subscribed so far and helped me support and build this channel. One last reminder, we do have a sister channel we've started called Chasing Aviation. If you have to head over there now and check that out, we finally have our first video up of our travels to and from these different destinations where I go to film you and these other manufacturers. Uh, Chasing Aviation is on YouTube and you can follow us as well on Facebook. Thanks again guys, I'll see you in the next video.